This is a post that I never thought I'd write, and I'm sure many people say the same, but I also never thought I'd make such a foolish mistake. I'm really scared of how people will react to what I'm about to say. I've been married since February 2016 to an amazing man. He's helped me cope with the pain from a soul assault and emotional abuse. My husband and I, both in our late 20s, deal with depression. Our marriage isn't perfect, and we face some tough times, especially because of our mental health struggles. I've taken him for granted, and I realized now that I needed to work on our marriage and myself long before what happened in the past month. The person I had an affair with was a school friend, someone I've known since I was 11 years old. He was a year ahead of me in school, and we were part of the same group of friends. We never dated, and after I changed schools after high school, we lost touch. About a year or so later, he reappeared in my life, which seemed to be a recurring pattern. We chatted and sometimes went for drives, but then he went off to university and disappeared again. We remained friends on social media throughout all this time. Then, during my third year of university, I was diagnosed with anxiety and prescribed medication. I ended up reaching out to him because I always felt like I was to blame for his occasional disappearances. During my third year, he became the person I would call in the early hours of the morning when I was struggling. We got close, and he offered to come and visit me, which I eagerly accepted because I was single, and he claimed to be as well. He came to stay with me, and we ended up sharing the same bed. He saw me undressed and also engaged in acts of a soul nature, except there was incredibly uncomfortable, and apart from kissing, I kept saying no, but I was young and very stupid back then, and he got me with the very emotional story of his ex-girlfriend going through pregnancy removal. We never had sex as I stood my ground, and then the next day, he left, telling me he was going away on a work trip for seven weeks and wouldn't be able to contact me, and naive me bought it. He took around three months to get back in contact, and I lost it, flipped out by texts, and told him to never contact me again. I was a 22-year-old university student at the time, and looking back, I can admit that I was incredibly naive. I had very little self-respect, and I didn't have many expectations for myself or others. Since then, I have grown and matured a lot, but back then, naive is the best way to describe me. Perhaps I was unconsciously willing to overlook certain things, but I genuinely had no idea that this guy had a girlfriend at the time, in fact, he explicitly told me that he was single. I should add that this was in 2014. I moved on and met my husband, and everything went well. I had no contact with the guy from my past and started realizing the negative experiences he had put me through. Then I decided to tell my husband about this guy and others I had been involved with. My husband, understanding my struggles with depression, asked me to block these guys and ensure they couldn't contact me. Over the years, we've been working on resolving my issues related to relationships and intimacy. I'm even on the waiting list for intensive counseling to focus on these areas. All seemed to be going fine until the end of September, when my grandmother passed away. For some reason, I posted about it on Twitter, and my affair partner reached out to me through private messages, expressing his condolences since he had lost his grandmother the previous year. Instead of being sensible and discussing this with my husband right away, I responded, and things quickly spiraled out of control. We exchanged messages in which he told me I was the most amazing person he had ever met, how beautiful I was, and that he had always loved me. I made another significant mistake by apologizing for pushing him away, even though I hadn't, and expressing regret for not being better. I don't remember the exact words, but I've discussed most of it with my husband. When he found out, my next big mistake was sending inappropriate photos to AP. He kept assuring me that he was there for me and that I could talk to him about anything. He seemed so glad that I was back in his life. During this time, things were getting worse with my husband. We were arguing more and I was becoming increasingly protective of my phone. 
I should mention that, as a way to help me with my mental health, my husband keeps an eye on my daily phone usage. I've had days where I would spend hours on my phone, neglecting my well-being and our marriage. My affair partner and I started meeting up and having a physical affair during this period. I knew my husband often checked my phone, so I went out of my way to delete incriminating conversations and photos. About a few months later, my husband came to say goodnight and picked up my phone. He instantly asked, who is this? That's when everything came crashing down, and I got caught. I got caught because I was enjoying the attention and was happy to have this person back in my life, so I didn't go to my husband and tell him. I told him that our relationship was just emotional, and the text conversation didn't reveal anything physical, so he wasn't aware of what the extent of the physical relationship, and I omitted the detail about having a physical affair as I didn't want to hurt him. He told me it would have been much less hurtful if I had come to him at any point, and I truly wish I had. Honestly, I do. Initially, I got defensive and started blaming him, but since then, I have fully accepted all responsibility. I've told him as much as I can remember, however, I did leave out some details such as the inappropriate photos I sent and how many times we were intimate. I did this to protect him from getting hurt. I want to be clear that I'm not trying to justify or make excuses for my actions. My husband didn't deserve what I did, and I still can't believe I may have jeopardized my marriage. He's really upset, and I'm not sure if he's going to leave me. As soon as my husband found out, I took immediate action. I deleted all access to AP, cutting all ties, and removed the social media account used to contact me. My husband called AP right away, and AP quickly shifted blame onto me, saying it was all my fault. While I am definitely at fault, AP didn't take responsibility for his part, even though his messages showed otherwise. Initially, he made my husband believe it was solely my fault. I understand that my actions have consequences, and I have indeed harmed my marriage. I agree that this way of thinking needs to change, but I'm uncertain about how to stop it. I don't want to slowly blame him because he didn't force me to respond and he didn't make me send those photos. Those were decisions I made on my own and I deeply regret them. I think I'm just really angry with him. I recently found out that back then, when I was 22 and in university, he lied about being in a relationship, so I believe he took advantage of me. It was a time when I was completely single and in a very vulnerable state, and I thought he was a friend I could trust. I don't think any differently from him now, but this happened four years ago before I even knew my husband, and he told me he was single. Knowing now that it was a lie doesn't surprise me at all. I was naive, and it took me years to realize that he had actually manipulated me. I agree that I accepted stuff that people with higher respect and confidence wouldn't accept. Although part of my soul abuse was a very serious case of having my drink spiked, which, as a 17 to 18 year old, I didn't know to look out for. So, yes, I am angry at myself, angry that I let myself be used and put into dangerous situations that still hurt me and impact my marriage. As for the second time I slept with him, I was married to my husband. I absolutely am the sole party responsible, and you're right, nowhere in the vows did it say that, and it makes me feel sick that I caved at that, and then I gave him the opportunity. I should have mentioned earlier that my affair partner has a girlfriend whom he lives with. My affair partner really went to great lengths to hide everything. He blocked my husband on social media and took it a step further by taking his girlfriend's phone to block both my husband and me. The poor girl had absolutely no idea about any of this, and she might still not know if my husband hadn't taken action. My husband contacted my affair partner and told him that he knew who his partner was and that he had until the next day to tell her about it because she deserved to know. My affair partner tried to handle it on his own terms, but my husband essentially forced him to break the news to his partner, which was heartbreaking. She thanked my husband for making my affair partner tell her, and he also admitted that he had stolen her phone. 
This is when I learned something that has made me even angrier. My affair partner had been in a six-year relationship with this girl the entire time. Yes, when he came to see me, he wasn't single. I can't believe that this guy messed me around all these years. Is it okay for me to feel angry and upset about this? I'm deeply in love with my husband, and I will forever be sorry for what I've done. Right now, it feels like our marriage is on shaky ground because he feels betrayed by my actions. However, we are still living together in the same house, and I hold on to hope that we can work through this. I've committed to improving myself and working on my mental health. Every day is a struggle as there are moments when he's loving and affectionate, but then he breaks down. We thought about trying marriage counseling, but he's unsure if it can help us rebuild the trust he had for me. I feel devastated by what I have done to him, and I'm terrified that he might realize he can't move past this. I also feel a strong sense of self-hatred, and I constantly blame myself for what I have done. There shouldn't have been a reason for me to be angry at him, but I find myself snapping at him because he's afraid I might revert to my past behavior. The other day I got upset with him because he mentioned that he believes there was more to the story than I was telling him. I realize that I tend to get snappy and defensive, and it's not just a reaction to being called out, it's something I've struggled with for a long time. Sometimes, yes, I still feel sorry for myself. I am genuinely remorseful, and I am deeply sorry for what I did to my husband. I understand that it will take time to earn back his trust, so I've given him my phone and password. He wants me to share information that I've deleted, but there's nothing to recover because it has already been deleted. Pushing for it wouldn't help resolve anything. My husband believes that my emotional outbursts can be a bit childish, but it's mainly because I'm incredibly frustrated with the slow progress we're making. We haven't had a child together, so in a way, if our relationship doesn't work out, at least no child gets hurt. I really dislike being questioned, and nobody wants to be seen as the one causing harm. Communication has never been my strong suit, and I acknowledge that my betrayed husband hasn't been very patient with me so far. Often, I find myself formulating a response instead of genuinely listening to what he's trying to convey. I've said many hurtful things to him that I don't even remember saying. I shout a lot and refuse to stop even when he told me he was triggered by our conversations. I've also wrongly blamed him for the affair, arguing that it could have been worse, and I've even accused him of never caring about me. I've said similar things in the past during my moments of depression, and it always takes time to repair the damage, but now we're dealing with the added complication of my affair, which has eroded my husband's trust in me. He feels that my words and actions last night and most of today have undone some of the progress I had made in rebuilding our relationship. I'm truly disappointed in myself for letting my anger and frustration get the best of me, especially when my husband was having a tough day. As the one who had the affair, I know it's my responsibility to be the healer, not the one causing conflicts at 3 a.m. If anyone reading this has any advice on how I can work on myself to become a better person and partner, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm fully aware that my husband doesn't deserve this pain, and he's in a very fragile state right now due to my actions. Did anyone else have a difficult time in the first few weeks after D-Day, which was about two weeks ago? Update, one evening, there was a knock on our door, and a process server handed me divorce papers. This came as a shock because we were considering reconciling. A few hours later, he returned home, and I confronted him for not personally giving me the papers. He revealed that he had recovered all the deleted messages from my phone and had seen everything. I tried explaining that I hadn't tried to hide anything, I deleted the messages to protect his mental well-being. He also told me that he didn't need to police me anymore, and that he had spoken to his therapist, who allegedly said I was a burden on him. I doubted whether his therapist had really said that, and I thought he was being a coward by not taking responsibility for his actions. He claimed he could no longer trust me, even though that wasn't what he had been saying a few nights ago. 
I reminded him that we had agreed to work on our marriage, but he denied it and went to file for divorce. He said he had barely slept more than three hours a night for the past two weeks since he found out about the affair, and it was affecting his job. I told him that if he had agreed to marriage counseling, he might not be facing these issues now. I understand that the affair was my fault, but I feel like he didn't make an effort to work on our marriage. I'm really devastated right now because I don't know how I can go on without him. He has supported me with my mental health, sometimes at his own expense, and I truly feel abandoned. I'm hoping he might change his mind about the divorce. In the meantime, I'm looking deep within myself to understand the reasons behind my choices and to work on myself so I won't seek external attention from someone else to validate my self-worth, which ultimately cost me my marriage. It's a challenging and lengthy journey, but it's one I must undertake if I ever hope to win him back. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and if you're curious to see where this journey takes us next, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single update. Your support is what keeps this channel alive and kicking, and every like, comment, and share means the world to us. We've got plenty more stories, insights, and surprises coming your way, so stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.